So we're here with uh, Ryan. He finished second at uh, the uh, winner box in Dietenbeek. Uh, care to talk how the day went and your deck? Uh, they went pretty nice. I didn't expect to actually finish second. Uh, my matches were uh, Dark Magician round one. Uh, pretty easy matchup. Round two was Metal Foes. Uh, no, Train Shuttle with Kaijus. Round three was uh, Metal Foes. I lost. That was my only loss in Swiss. Uh, round four was ABC. Uh, I opened with the Kill Center, which was which made it pretty easy to win game two. Uh, and uh, round five was against uh, Metal Foes again. Uh, was kind of sort of easy. Uh, break one game, so I lost that uh, game, but still won the match. Uh, top cut. Uh, I was against the guy. I lost in round three. Uh, got my revenge. <laughs> and uh, finals was against Metal Foes again. Uh, lost that match. Pretty sad, but oh well. I think I did pretty well with DDDs for the first time, so yeah. So, onto the deck. Uh, Triple Lamia, best card in the deck, the Yuli Looper, no explanation needed. Uh, triple Swirl Slime, standard. Uh, triple Necro Slime, standard. Um, triple Kepler, standard. He's the straightest in the deck uh, for the Dark Lone tracks. Um, triple Ragnarok, 3K Booty. Uh, the special summon effect, scale and monster effect, pretty neat. Double Thomas, I don't play tree, uh, even though his recycle effect is amazing, but the fact that I needed space for other cards, uh, which kind of made it prior, uh, for them to like get into that, I had to uh, cut it to two, which is sad. I like to play tree, but I need space. Uh, double Copernicus, I see people play triple Copernicus and no foolish. I prefer playing two. Uh, I prefer uh, side, uh, playing two Copernicus and one uh, Foolish. Uh, one or throws, uh, two bricks. I tried to, uh, but I also made uh, Twin Twisters, so I prefer playing one or throws and two Twin Twisters. And then two Maxis in the main. Uh, you gotta main it. On to the spells. Uh, triple Gate, standard. Uh, you search literally every card in your deck except for the Maxis. That's it. Um, double Swamp King. Uh, I don't want to banish off my one copy if I will play one uh, off of uh, Desire, so I prefer playing two. And also, I play the big fusion, so playing two is pretty important, at least for me. Uh, triple Allure, uh, Draw Power, you need it. And I prefer playing, uh, I prefer playing the 3 2 ratio because I play two Desires. Uh, three break. I tried playing three online, uh, and I mostly drew uh, one desires off desires, and that's pretty sad to say. So I prefer playing two, which is better in my opinion. Um, I main two twin twisters, uh, which I kind of sort of regret. The only time, uh, the only time it came off handy was against the train shuttle player who uh, mained anti spell frag, uh, and yeah, oh no, he sided game two uh, anti spell frag, and then chain twin twister. That was the only time it came off handy. Uh, one for one, you gotta play it, and then the foolish burial uh, uh, did my explanation on Copernicus. Right? So, for my trap lineup, I played two strikes because I didn't have barriers, and sometimes strikes a little bit better. But I would have prefer uh, preferred playing barriers if I had them. Uh, the one warning, uh, I cut witch for the warning, and honestly, warning is a lot better. One me games against metal foes, so yeah, and vanities, fucking broken. No explanation needed. Your X Rick. Um, for the extra deck, I played uh, Double Genghis. Uh, he is pretty much the most important fusion, in my opinion, uh, because that's what started us with combos. So yeah. Beowulf, Wolf, uh, you gotta play one uh, since uh, if you want to extend your combo plays by using him as a rank A fodder. Uh, he's amazing, but he's also amazing if you like sit on the card uh, to have his heavy storm effect uh, go off uh, against Metal Force. One arc, uh, you gotta play it, uh, can't go into Omega with it or uh, uh, Siegfried, pretty neat. And Wave Oblivion, I like it, I prefer it over Trish. Even though, uh, I think, in my opinion, this card is easier to make than Trish, and it's kind of sort of better, because I think that Trish is a little bit too situational. The only downside with this card is that your opponent got to control two monsters. Uh, for Synchros, I played one Alexander. Uh, you need to play one. Uh, one is more than enough. C3, one is more than enough. Uh, he is the one that negates spell or trap cards, and when he goes to the grave, he basically gain life with if you had contract on the field. 
Meteor Burst. Um, I like the card uh, because of the fact that you can special summon uh, either Thomas if you use his recycle effect and go into an instant wreckage, or his, or uh, special summon uh, Ragnarok from scale. Uh, so I still like playing the card. And sometimes I can go into Crystal Wing with this card if I don't have, uh, if I can't get rid of my Kepler on the field, so that I have to send my uh, Alexander from the field to the grave to special summon uh, Lamia. Uh, Crystal Wing. Uh, no explanation needed. Omega. Omega is Omega. Uh, formula. Um, I made it a lot, which was kind of unexpected, but the fact that you can sometimes draw off uh, this card, and that because of that draw, you can do a lot more things. I draw one for one, and I could. Uh, I ended up with Omega, Crystal Wing, Harbinger, and uh, Agangus, thanks to Formula Synchro, which was pretty surprising. And then TG, only made it once. I still like the fact that you have the possibility to go into this card and then plus off, uh, uh, plus three times off of this. And then for the Ixies, uh, we play one Kaliuga, uh, one Harbinger, and one Beatrice. I like playing Beatrice. Uh, I made insane boards thanks to Beatrice. Uh, uh, I know that a lot of people don't play Beatrice. I prefer playing Beatrice. Uh, I like the cards, yeah. For the side deck. Um, oh. For the side deck, I played uh, Triple Ghost Ogre. I wanted to side it for the mirror match. Then I come across uh, one TDD player. Um, was amazing in finals against a Metal Four player, but still sad I lost. Um, uh, double Lava Golem. I prefer playing Lava Golem uh, over Kaiju because uh, Kaiju only takes one monster. And I kind of sort of expect to play against Metal Four players who like uh, played Klee Engine because that's. I think that that's the most popular build, uh, the popular build, uh, like with the Klee Engine to go into Infinity and then Kirin or Alcast. Depends on what they have. Diddy Crow never sighted in. Want to take it out? Honestly, I don't know even. I don't even know why I tried to side. Oh well. Uh, Kill Center. This card is insane. Insane against ABC. Like the ABC player round four scooped immediately when he saw this card because he just couldn't get rid of it. System down. Sided in against the ABC player, but I saw Kill Center first, and Kill Center came off way better. So I might cut it and play triple. Kill Center. Uh, double Dark Call and one Reg IQ for board removal. Nothing much to say about this. And then the one errors. Um, I didn't see any Paleozoic, so I don't even know how the card would have done. So, yeah. So, any shout outs? Uh, shout out to Locus Oberon. Um, shout outs to my team, Nice at the Last Table. Um, shout out to Team Starlight, uh, check out his YouTube channel, uh, shout out to Luca for recording uh, and for wrecking me in the finals. Um, You're welcome. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys.